Why is Boise State sitting Ashton GT when they should be padding his stats for Heisman voters that definitely don't watch Boise State games? I thought this when they played Utah State this week because Ashton GT in the first half had 13 carries for 186 and three touchdowns. I was like, damn, this dude might go for 300 today. And on one hand, no, they should not be doing that because Ashton Genty is the reason why they're winning and in the top 25. And a sprained ankle, a weird tackle, something happening to him because you're playing him in garbage time is not a good idea. But then I was like, damn, you're putting him in danger. But then let's look at how the last Heisman, two Heisman trophies were won. Because last year, Jaden Daniels won. And over a third of Jaden Daniels combined passing and rushing touchdowns from last year came against a combination of Grambling, Army, and Georgia State. A third of them. And then you, the year before, Caleb Williams, the dude had touchdown passes in 2022 against Rice while the team was already up 45 to 17. And then Fresno State, when in the fourth quarter, when they were up 35 to 17. Now look at what uh, Nick Saban did with Bryce Young. He didn't leave Bryce Young late into games. If he had, he would have been arrested because Bama fans would have gone crazy. And you actually have a short memory if you're looking at Bryce Young right now. You're like, oh, so he wasn't that good in college. Nah, it was a whole different story. But on the flip side, though, Aston Jeans, he's not playing at Alabama. He's playing at a group of five school in Boise State. And I would not blame them for getting Jeans to 20 carries instead of pulling him at 13 when you know that you want a Heisman Trophy. And as you are going to be changing conferences, heading over to the Pac-12. So this is one of them important things for the university. So listen, we just got to, I would be playing him just a teeny tiny bit more in that Utah State game and just praying for him.